Okay, how are we doing guys? This is the setup for the Nexus 4 I'm going to camp. Um, firstly, we've got the empty box for the Nexus 4, the phone, and here is the phone itself. Now, I'm so excited. I don't know if you saw the unboxing video that i done for this, um, but I'm so excited to get this open. So firstly, with the phone, you should have had a little pin in order to insert your SIM card. So, essentially, if you turn your phone to the side, not the same side as the power, but the side with the volume. You should see there that you've got the installation area for the SIM card. So the pin literally just goes in and you'll see that it pops out. And that's how and where you need to put your SIM card in. Okay, so just take that out and the SIM card should go theoretically should go into the actual sim slot okay so let's see so you'll see on the actual so you see there that there's um a lip, I say a lip, is that a cutout? So that should tell you which way and which direction your SIM card should fit into the actual SIM, um, the SIM key, I'm going to call it. So from there, the SIM should just slide back in how it came out. If it doesn't go in one way, turn it round and that should tell you that it will go in the other way. Okay, just make sure that's clicked in and then let's turn the phone on. And I'll give you a little vibrate. Google. So Google phone, I'm so excited to use the Google phone. I've got an Nexus 7 as well. Um, so if that's anything to go by, this is going to be amazing. So the first thing that happens when you start your phone up is this. So it'll ask you, and I'm, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to put English and start. Okay, then it'll ask you which internet you want to connect to. So firstly, choose the one that's relevant to you. So I'm going to choose that one because that's my home, and then I'll put my password in. Once you've done that, it will authenticate the actual password, and it will connect you. So once that's done, you're connected and it will go and ask if you have a Google account. Um, if you don't have a Google account, um, you will need a Google account to set the phone up. So it's easy enough to set it up. It takes less than a minute or just over a minute. Um, but I've got one already, so I'm going to click yes. Okay, so once you're signed in, just put your Gmail account and your password in, and then it will sign you in. It will also ask if you agree to terms and conditions. So just click yes for that. Um, it will also now ask if you want to back up and restore what you've got on your phone. So I would highlight both of those if you've got stuff on your SIM that you would, or stuff that you're going to put on your phone that you do want backed up. Um, and then carry on. Now it's going to take whatever you've got on your Google account, it will take to your phone. So what I mean by that is things like mobile apps. If you've got apps on an Android tablet or if you've got apps on an Android um, based device already, whether it's a tablet or a phone, it will just transfer all those apps that you've already got, it will take them over onto this device as well. So that's what it's doing now. Look at this, it's really thin. It looks great, I mean, I, it feels great as well, like, to hold it, it just feels, it feels nice, it's nice and sleek, it feels good, I mean, I I'm probably will put a cover on it just for security and safety, in case I drop it, because I'm quite good at dropping phones. Um, there's your headphone jack at the top, and your microphone, I think that's a microphone, might possibly be a reset button, I'll need to look at the instructions for that. Um, but you've also got your connector for the charger there. That will be a microphone down there. Then you've got a couple of screws holding the phone together. 
Okay, what have we got? Okay, so use Wi-Fi mobile network location. Um, I'm going to say yes for things like GPRS on certain apps to know where you are. Okay, and that's setup complete. So that's all it takes, and that took us only a couple of minutes. Um, if you do need to complete a Gmail account and um, a Google account, just go to gmail.com or gmail.co.uk and it will take you a minute or two to set it up. You could do it from the device. If I selected no, I don't have a Google account, it should have taken me to create one. Um, and then click finish once you're done. And it's given me the background that I've got on my tablet. And if also, if I go into my apps, it's got all the apps. And it's also got, um, it's given me directions of how to use Android at the moment. So I'm just gonna say okay. But these are all the apps that I have on my Android tablet as well. Um, and it will still be downloading some of those as we speak. So um, any editing programs that you want, might want to use. I mean, I'm quite big on editing. And at the moment, I was using Apple. Um, but it's got Movie Studio on here to use this. But I'm going to go into that in more detail in a using an Android device. Well, actually, using a Nexus 4. Um, and how to use an X4 with apps. So I'm going to make a separate video for that guys. If you want you can click it just there and I hope that's been helpful to set up your actual phone. Have fun using your Nexus 4 guys and I hope that you're all well. Take care and speak to you soon. Now let's make phone calls! Yay!